have embarked on a journey, a journey that I didn't have any choice. It was a calling. God is with me because he's told me go, and I know you will prepare the crooked path ahead of me. You will straighten it, and you will open the doors that has not been opened. And Ghana, we need leadership. We don't need politics. Well, my choice of leadership is to build a nation. I don't just want to be a president. I want to be able to have God's power, God's guidance, great wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and courage to uplift and build a nation. Freedom, freedom, to stop freedom. Who are you to stop freedom? Are you God? You can stop freedom. Who are you to stop freedom? Are you God? Another one the of Freedom Jacob Caesar. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. First of all, I want to say that I'm in the house of God and I feel very safe and I feel very welcome. So I would like the church to help me to give a big round of applause to Reverend Israel for having me and dear mama for having me too. I want to say God is everywhere. God is more than MTN and Vodafone and Network. You find him everywhere. You find him in India, you find him in China, you find him in Kumasi, you find him in Bolivia, you find him everywhere. So you cannot be without God unless he chooses that he don't want you to be with him. And if he says so, you are in trouble. So please, if you don't have him, find him. And even though we are here worshiping him, every day there is a better and another way of finding more about God. This is how I began my journey. I couldn't have been where I am today if I wasn't listening to a voice. The beginning of my life, God said to me, I heard so much noise that he said, skip the noise, obey the voice. And that voice, I've been listening to it, and God loves the people that he talks to, and they listen. If you refuse, you probably act like a madman. You'll be talking back to people without knowing that you're talking to people because maybe you're fighting with the voice. You need to receive the voice. And that same voice told me that I'm in Tamale and I have to come to Bolega and I have to make sure for the first time in history, I am coming to meet the man of God, Reverend Isu Banaba, and I'm just also to see you. And today I get the chance to see you in flesh and your family. You know, I worship in Perez and Bishop Ajinasari has been a good spiritual father to me and a good advisor. But I've been seeing programs and seeing you and I like the shirt and the tie and the swag and everything. And, uh, yeah. So I'm very happy I've been here today. Um, I don't have much time. These three minutes I have to try and put everything in. I've embarked on a journey, a journey that I didn't have any choice. It was a calling. I had my business, I had my wife, and my wife, my children, and my business, my family, and then all of a sudden, I'm being told to leave all of these things and go this way because the nation needs help. And And I didn't have to be a politician to be a part of this decision. Unfortunately, I also don't know anything about politics. I don't even know how to become an assembly man. I just haven't been in that world. My whole life, I started from chicken farm and I kept going and going in business and business and business and then I became an entrepreneur, an industrialist and a visionary. Today, 
God has chosen me to be a leader. Now let me say this. When God chooses people to lead, it's not because they wanted to, it's because they demonstrated their courage to a level that God chose them to come and lead. And that's what is happening now. The demonstration of my courage is what God has asked me to lead this path. When I was reading the Bible, I realized that God chose Moses because of courage. God chose David because of courage. He said, I will kill you and cut your head off. He didn't even have a knife. But the sword was beside his opponent. And God told him that you will not miss. And so that wisdom gave him the power to put someone down who is over eight foot. And he, as small as he was, he said, this is so big, I will never miss when I throw it. And that was just the wisdom he needed. He put him down and took his own sword and cut it off. God is with me because he told me, go. And I know you will prepare the crooked path ahead of me. He will straighten it and he will open the doors that has not been opened. And Ghana, we need leadership. We don't need politics. We have been learned over 40 years by politicians. Now, I think there is a difference in leadership and politics. A leader has a purpose. A politician moves with a program. A politician is going to come to you with, with promises. A leader is definitely coming to you with a vision and a purpose. A politician. Thank you. A politician just wants to be elected so he can become a president. Well, my choice of leadership is to build a nation. I don't just want to be a president. I want to be able to have God's power, God's guidance, great wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and courage to uplift and build a nation. I want to use this moment to thank the church for receiving me. I can feel your energy. You're good people. And you have trained your children very well. I can see great spirits in this room, great people. I'm praying that God should bless these grounds and there should be many more of this. If you have done this in Bolivia, I pray that God give you the strength, the wealth to do it in different parts of the world, in different parts of the country, because this is a good gesture. And I didn't know that there were so much beautiful people in Bolivia. This is beautiful. Thank you. God bless Bolega. God bless Eastwood, Reverend, and the wife, and everybody. Thank you very much. I go by the name Freedom Dick of Caesar, Nana Kwame Pediako. And please, you're right. You couldn't mention that name, Cheddar. It's my old nickname. I don't know why they're still using it. So it means money. But now God says, skip the money, follow freedom. So I'm here for that. Let's be free. Thank you very much.